Good Saturday evening. I'm certified meteorologist Nick Kelly checking in on the blog once again. We had a few strong to severe thunderstorms late last night, early this morning, but thankfully most of the day has been quiet from start to finish. And temperatures have definitely responded because of the quiet skies and the libraries that we've had throughout the course of the day. Let me show you what I mean as we hide the webcam so I can give you a full view of the temperature map here. Everybody started out pretty mild this morning. Mainly upper 60s to near 70 degrees once you go north and west of Parsons and Pittsburgh. Maybe a few mid-60s, but everybody pretty much started right around 70 this morning. Uh, quick check of temperatures this afternoon. Had everybody hot again with highs near 90 degrees. Thankfully, though, the main change for today was lower dew points. Yesterday, we had dew points pushing near 80. This time around, we backed it down to about 70 in most spots. So it was a bit more bearable if you had any outdoor plans, be it for work or play on this Saturday. And as of 9.41, we had temperatures checking in at 82 in Joplin, 79 in Parsons, 80 in Miami, and outlying areas starting to fall into the upper 70s. To the Skywatch Storm Tracker, the sk latest scan from 9.41 had nothing showing up. And after we got rid of some of the morning clouds and a few random showers and thunderstorms, out, especially out in northeastern Oklahoma, we kept things pretty quiet and mostly sunny all day long. And that's how we're going to stay for the rest of the night. Our last system now is well off to the east and the southeast. That cold front stretching from the northern sides of Maine all the way back down to the Gulf Coast. For us now, our main focus will be this, again, that ridge of high pressure, which continues to build some summer heat, at least some more of it. That's going to be funneling our way as we go into much of next week. And again, that's going to be the main weather headline for the good portion of the week ahead. For the rest of the night, we don't have to deal with any scattered, strong, to severe thunderstorms. We keep things mostly clear and quiet through the rest of the night and going into your Sunday morning. I expect overnight lows to drop down to about 70. Fast forward through the afternoon, any thunderstorms that the future track wants to pop up keeps it out of our area. We'll definitely have some moisture that will result in a humid air mass, but if I don't see any forcing working in, I don't see us having any thunderstorm chances to deal with tomorrow. So for now, let's keep things dry and mostly sunny from sunrise to sunset. 70 in the morning, but look at how quickly we go to 85 by noon. And I expect afternoon highs in Joplin and around much of the area to top out around 90 degrees. Fast forward to Sunday night, Monday morning. It's going to be a milder start with temperatures starting in the lower, if not middle, 70s. I think most spots will start around 72 for your Monday morning. That's also looking like a pretty quiet day with mostly sunny skies, and it will be another hot one with highs going into the lower, if not middle 90s. And that's just some of that upper level ridge that's working in on Monday. It will be around for your Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, again, much of next week. If there's any positives to be had, if you don't want any rain chances, that keeps us primarily dry as we take you to the seven day forecast. The one exception may be Friday where a front eventually from the north may try to squeak in and pop up a few random thunderstorms, but I wouldn't go to Vegas with those odds. Those uh, chances look pretty slim, really. That might cool us back down to 90, but we go to 90 on Sunday, 94 Monday, Tuesday, 95 Wednesday, 94 Thursday, and then I think we could be near 96 on mostly sunny skies by this time next Saturday. That's just one factor with this upper ridge that's working in. Even though the thermometers may say 90 tomorrow and mid-90s for a good portion of the next week, you got to factor in the humidity too, especially with dew points that might be knocking on the door at 70 degrees. It may feel like 99 on Sunday, triple-digit heat Monday, 99 Tuesday, triple-digit heat Wednesday, and 99 on Thursday. When I say triple-digit heat, I mean the feels like temperatures again, even though the thermometer may say Middle 90s. We gotta keep an eye on that humidity too. So I wouldn't be surprised if we had heat advisories being put out for portions of the area going into next week with some more summer heat and humidity working in. On the plus side, though, we do keep things pretty quiet overall for much of next week. Have a good night. Have a great Sunday.